What's up shooters, my name is Logan aka Spiderhands and welcome to SP Reviews where today we're going to be checking out a track from an artist named Lynn Taylor Donovan titled Turn to Stone. Now I'm just going to load this up just, just a second and uh, if we just want to switch over to here for an SP Reviews of this track. It's been a while since I used Vimeo. We'll see how it goes. Got a hammer. Okay. I kind of like it, kind of. I'm not always feeling like I'm wasted. Let me just like see if I can get that quality up. Okay, so right, it's when it's 720. That's fine. I'm just tired of it all. I like her voice. Can you read my lips? Got a very sultry kind of sound to it. The instrumentation is incredibly solid, but you can tell that it's centered around the vocalist. And that kind of fiddle has a voice in there as well that complements the singer. I've been listening to a fair bit of this kind of country stuff these days, and it's been kind of nice, because I, I don't get a lot of exposure to country stuff. Oh, that's a smooth hook, eh? That is a very smooth hook. It just flowed right on by. You know, the truth is always risky. I love that kind of guitar. It's got a boom, butter dum, butter dum, butter dum. It's got a really nice groove to it, eh? And then you got that kind of 12 bar blues ish kind of thing. Yeah, cool. Country blues kind of feel to it. 12 bar. Okay. What happens now? And we're telling the story here. It's a very effective kind. It's more about the story than about the music necessarily, you know? I like the fact that they put a lot of effort into the actual sort of vocal production where like when she was on the phone, they had that kind of filter on there that made it sound like that. Yep. No, it's actually one of the better hooks I've listened to throughout my reviews. <laughs> the video is pretty cool, but I'm trying to focus on the music, you know what I mean? Okay, we've got a harmonica, nice! Oh, that harmonica's dope, dude. Got a swagger to it, man. Swagger harmonica. Ooh. Is drum solo? Come on now. Getting those toms in there, dude. Good. Allowing the instrumentalist the time to spotlight. Thank you. Thank you for allowing the rest of the band members to have their time in the sun, you know? That's exactly what we need. If you're going to sort of form a band around your own talents and your own sort of person, it's great to still be able to acknowledge them in your recording. Uh, you would have to be utterly incredible to be able to like start a project like this like i couldn't possibly imagine having a project called the logan whatever band you know because because it's just not me as a person right but then you always see this lady um lady uh sorry lady um lynn taylor donovan i didn't want to get the name wrong because i would have seemed like a complete you know uh, lynn Ta taylor donovan She's got kind of a character her that emanates through her music, and I think that's that's fantastic. I love it. She says she sounds like she's having a really good time. She's she's having fun with it, you know. Obviously, it's not completely whimsical, but there's a bit of attitude there, which is welcome. Because I feel like if there was this was too kind of goody two shoes, it would be kind of but just a bit fake and sort of disingenuous. There's already quite a lot of this kind of genre in music where it is flagrantly very kind of just a bit too bright for my personal tastes um so having a bit of grunt in it like this is phenomenal there we go it's really cool but yeah well done to lynn taylor donovan for this effort here i'm really impressed with um 
with Turn to Stone. I think it's a, it's a really solid single. Um, not only did uh, Lynn showcase her talents as a singer and as a performer through the video as well as in a, sort of in the recording, she also allowed the rest of her supporting band to actually have the time to enjoy themselves and have some fun. What I can really appreciate is the fact that when the even when the instrumentalists did have a chance to sort of showcase what they were capable of, they didn't do anything to outshine what Lynn was doing. And that's exactly what you need from a supporting act. The amount of times I've been playing in bands and you'll get one guitarist or one bassist or one drummer and now just want to have their stupid crazy solo in there and it just completely ruins the flow but they've got an ego and they need that in there but if it's like if it's lynn's band you got to get let lynn have the spotlight and that's exactly what happened here but then lynn also did not over egg the pudding either like it was like a team effort despite the fact that it was lynn's band it was it was like a learning experience for me. I'd like to listen to a bit more of Lynn's music, and I think I will. But thank you very much for watching this review of Lynn Taylor Donovan's uh, track, Turned Stone. It only has 262 plays, and it should have much more than this. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this review, and you'll check out more of Lynn's stuff. Uh, stay cool. Stay safe. Please remember to support your local musicians at this point in time as you need to help more than ever with all the crazy stuff going on. And I'll catch you on the next review. See you later. Spider hands out.